Hello everybody, my name is Zelenator, and we are here showcasing how a second person video game template might look. This does not require watching either of my first two videos, but either way I'll post those in the description anyways. So here we are starting from scratch. This was a brand new project that I was working on because my original attempt had a lot of things that I was not happy with, so I ended up rewriting every piece of functionality. So here we are, the basic uh, stuff. You've got your first person in front of you, that's the guy you control, but your camera is from the second person. You can't see him because you're viewing the world through his eyes. So he's just a simple AI that just follows you and looks at you as you run around. But uh, the default movement mode is WASD in relative to the camera. So forward will always be forward away from the camera. Right will be right and left is left and all that. However though, head over to the switch the movement mode to rotational now. You've got A and D to rotate, and W is world forward for the first person. There is no S, because that is disabled for the time being. So that is how the rotational movement mode works. Switch over to 4 key, because I don't know how to properly call it, but this is the standard WASD. But now, A and D are used for strafing. No, the animation's not right. Just ignore it. So how do you turn? You use your mouse. So now this is more like traditional first-person movement, but through the eyes of the second person. So that's how that all works. And the last movement mode is point and click. It's exactly how you sound. How it sounds. You point somewhere. You click. He goes there. Just like it's pretty basic. Um, not much explained in there. However, though, maybe you still don't want the uh, second person mode. Let me switch this back to rotational. Maybe you don't want the second person camera. You'd rather go first. Simple. Press the one key. Boom. Now through the eyes of the first person. All the movement modes are still the same. So don't expect this to get the traditional first person feel. So there's that guy, you know, he just follows you. Just proof that, you know, he is an actual character. If I set this to, oopsies, 4 key, now it feels closer, but there's still no uh, up and down movement. So now this is a lot closer to how a normal first person game would feel these days. I'm actually going to switch this back to rotational, because things get weird when I go to third person is now this is third person locked the camera will not move i may reposition it to be like over the shoulder or something or out a way to switch shoulders or whatever so this is more of a traditional third person view or you can go to third person free so now with the mouse, you're able to freely move the camera all the way around, get a better view. So there's a second person behind you while you're following this guy. And if I was with, you know, 4Key, you get weird stuff because both the first person and the camera moves. So that's why for this, it's best to use relative just feels odd in anything other than second person. I find rotational to work the best in terms of all circumstances. And then, you know, point and click is just for just because reasons. So, yeah, that is where I'm currently sitting at. And I intend to have a sort of checkpoint system in, in place to where you're able to send the second person to specific locations to do stuff. Or to just stand there and watch or whatever. Or to just not move at all. So expect that next time you see this again. And in case you are wondering what happened to the original project. It's still there. 
fire open st oopsies open start map all the original stuff is still here all the old templates for 0.1.0 is all still here well yeah thank you all for watching bye